Hello viewers, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare a grade sheet using ActiveX controls from a user form. So we have this worksheet here called Sheet 1 and in here we'll uh, insert the data from the user form. For example, we'll insert the student ID, their marks obtained in physics, chemistry and maths and we'll also count the total number, the percentage and also the letter grade. Uh, you cannot enter any data in this worksheet because this worksheet is protected. See, the cell or chart you are trying to change is on a protected sheet. So you cannot protect it un unless you unprotect it. For security purpose, we have uh, made this sheet protected by a password which is 1234. So let us see how we can insert data in this sheet and get all this total percentage and letter grade of each of the students using Excel VBA and for this we'll use a user form. So we have this developer tab, go to visual basic uh, editor and in here we have a form called grade form. I've already uh, dragged in some ActiveX controls here you can see in the last lecture I gave you an introduction how to drag in the uh, ActiveX controls. For example, the text box in here, I have used one, two, three, four, five text boxes. You can see this is text box one, this is two, this is three, four, and five, okay? And against each text box, I have used the labels. So this is label one, which is student ID. The caption is here. This is label two, caption is physics, chemistry, maths, and also this has been captioned as total marks. And I have inserted three common buttons here. One will calculate the total marks obtained by each student uh, in these three subjects, okay? And then we'll get the percentage and also the letter grade. Okay. So this is your grade sheet. So the name of the form is, the caption of the form is uh, grade, sheet why is the caption yeah and the name of the form is grade form that is why against the form it is shown grade form right okay let us uh, run it first and what we did is against this total button i'll go step by step and very slowly uh, against this total common button you know how to insert a common button and uh, change its properties change color and all these things i have demonstrated it many times in all my excel VVA lectures previously. So I've added a common uh, line of code here. Uh, this is the active line of code. All other lines of codes are now inactive. That is all these have been converted to comment. You know how to do it. I showed it earlier as well. So let us write it like this that in text box 5 we want the summation or the totals of marks in physics, in chemistry, and in maths. So text box 5 is equal to text box 2 plus 3 plus 4. And let us try it, okay? So this is your form. <clears throat> this is text box 1. Marks of physics is in text box 2. Chemistry in 3. Four. In 4, you have maths. And in text box 5, you want the total marks. And you have written a simple line of code here. And let's see what it does. So go back to this form and run it from here, right? Move it a bit if you want to see the headers clearly. So the student ID, let us say 001, and marks obtained in physics is 90, in chemistry 90, in maths 90. So the total marks will be 270. It will not add up automatically. It will add only when you will click this common button. Let's click this common button total and see what it does. Uh, has it given you the expected result? No. What it did is, let's go back to this code again. It has kind of <coughs> concatenated uh, the contents in this text box. So it has actually 90 and 90 and 90. So it has put all the 90s side by side. So that is called concatenation. We'll have to make it correct. Okay, so instead of writing this code, which will only concatenate, you'll have to write text box 5 is equal to value 
of text box 2, value of text box 3, and value of text box 4. And that should give you the expected result. Let's see. Run it again. Sorry. So run it again. Student ID. Let's insert one again. And marks obtained, say 90 in all each of the subjects. And now if you click total, now you should get the desired result that is 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 270. Okay. Fine. So we have uh, overcome the first hurdle. And now let us go beyond, go back to this uh, total common button. And now we want to uh, write all this information of form in the sheet. For example, we want to write this student ID in the worksheet under this header and the marks obtained in physics under this header, chemistry, maths, total and all these things. Okay. So how can I do it? So we have written some course here. So in order to do anything in the worksheet, first of all, we'll have to unprotect it because mind you that your, pro your worksheet is protected. Okay. And only you know the, as developer of the application, you know the password. So what we are going to do is we will unprotect this, sorry, uh, convert this comment block, we'll uncomment it and make these comments lines of course. I have already written it in order to save time. So what am I going, uh, am I doing here? I'm telling the uh, program that first of all, you unprotect the sheet one. I told about it in the last lecture as well. And then I have declared a variable called i as integer. Please remember that in my previous, one of the previous lectures, I told you, you can uh, use this statement anywhere in the program. You can use this uh, at the top or anywhere uh, in between. Wherever you need, you can declare a variable. So I have declared it here. So that is i and i is what i is the to find i we are using this count a worksheet function from range a a so it will find the non-empty cells the uh, non-empty cells in column a which is now column one okay so what will be the value of i in this case because you have one header here, student ID. So the uh, non-empty cell value will be one. So I value will be, in this case, it will be one, right? Now what we are telling this program is uh, in cells I plus one, that is in cells two, one, in the second row, first column, you put the value of text box one, text box one, of what text box one of this user form so the student id will be placed in this position or in this cell okay similarly similarly in cells two two that is in the second uh, row and second column you put the value or the content in text box 2 that is the marks of physics similarly the marks of chemistry in column 3 second row and marks of maths in column 4 and marks and the total marks in column 5 okay so this is what we are doing here right and let's uh, let's do it first and see what it actually is. this sheet is protected that is fine Go to Visual Basic Editor, go to Forms, open the grade form and make it active and run it. Okay. Now enter the data again 001. Okay. Marks in physics 90, in chemistry 90, mass 90, and total. Click on this button and there you go. What has happened? It has uh, inserted the student id under the student id header the marks obtained in physics under the marks uh, the header of physics marks of chemistry under the 
chemistry header and uh, marks of maths under the maths header and of course the total marks that is in text, bo text box 5 that has been put under the total uh, total header that is in column 5 okay so your, your program is actually or your application is working quite nicely let us try with another student id let's say 002 okay and marks obtained in physics chemistry and maths say all these are equal and now if you click total okay see the total marks uh, will be different now 255 and that has been posted here here and all the uh, marks of all the subjects or each of the subjects are also posted here and the student id 002 is also posted below the 001 so student id 1 was inserted first then student id 2 has been inserted so how is it doing again go back to the code just for better understanding okay click on this total command button in here we have used a variable that is i which will find the total non-empty cells in the column a okay or in the first column that is what it is doing okay when there was no student information then the non-empty cell was one okay so it put the uh, first entry in this cell or in this line okay or in this row then when you entered the uh, information of student id 2 then it found that the non-empty cells are actually two in this column so it went for the next available blank cell and that is where it it, it it inserted all these information i hope you understand it so just open it click open it and see for yourself for sometimes pause your video write it down and try to understand all by yourself <clears throat> remember when we uh, inserted the data and uh, told this program to calculate everything and put all these things in the cells we first of all we unprotected the sheet and after completing the task that is posting all the information in the relevant uh, columns or under the relevant fields we, we are saying now that protect this sheet with the same password okay so this sheet will remain always remain protected after doing the job the sheet will be uh, the sheet will be protected automatically back with the original password try to try to insert anything here work okay so let us go back again and go to forms okay. open this activate and then run it and try with another one 003 physics 80 chemistry 80 maths 80 total marks it will not calculate automatically unless you click on this total button okay and total should be 240 so the 240 is here 240 is there the individual marks are there and the student id is 003 so that's nice i mean it is working very well and <clears throat> close this now and go back to the worksheet again try to insert anything here it is not because the program is and protecting while posting this data here and protecting back it, it back again after it is done with the posting okay so for each student your data will be secured now um, we'll have to get this percentage so go back to this uh, editor window and against the percentage button we have written some lines of course and these are very interesting as well uh, very few lines of course but we'll do a lot of things okay so here we have declared a new variable uh, j just for clarity purpose and for better understanding and we have initialized the value of j as one uh, i'll tell you why and then we are using a loop called do while loop okay so do while that means run this loop while that means in this loop uh, you are actually adding another condition so it is kind of uh, a combination of for next and if statements so in this loop 
will be running this loop as long as this condition is satisfied so do while cells j plus 1 5 is not equal to blank what does that mean cells j plus 1 5 that means as long as the cells in the column 5 are not blank if it finds a blank blank cell it will not do anything here if it finds the cells not non blank only then it will calculate the percentage here okay and that is what you want so while do while cells j plus 1 in column 5 is not blank then what then cells j plus 1 6 that is where your percentage is in column number 6 will be equal to what will be equal to the corresponding value in column 5 that is the total marks divided by total marks obtained by the student divided by the total marks in this exam times 100 and you want to see this in a number format with two decimal places that is what you write here so the number format of cells j plus 1 6 will be will have two decimal places and then you are telling the telling the loop to continue with a uh, with the next number of j that is j is equal to j plus 1 it started with 1 okay so the first cell was cells 2 5 and after doing this it will have a value of j is equal to 2 and then it will go for the next cell that is cells 3 5 okay so this is cells 2 5 and this is cells 3 5 i hope you understand it just have a closer look at it uh, uh, steal your pause your video and have a closer look at this uh, few lines of course try to understand it and then you click the buttons okay now uh, sorry let's open this form activate it and run it okay uh, if you are not interested or if you don't have any more students you don't have to punch any more data here uh, because now you want to see the percentage of the marks obtained by each of the students so you will have to click on this common button just click on percentage so it is giving a runtime error why the cell or chart you are trying to change is in a protected sheet okay see like here we didn't uh, unprotect the sheet so that is why it is not working again for this uh, this sub procedure to work or this macro to work you will have to unprotect the sheet otherwise it will not work so before doing anything of this sub procedure you will have to unprotect it and after doing the job after completing the task that sheet has to be protected again that is what you want right okay and try to run it again that's fine that's fine click on percentage now there you go so the percentage of marks obtained by this student this is quite inevitable that the percentage of marks obtained by this student is 90 percent of next student is 85 and of next student is 80 percent right now if you want to uh, insert marks obtained by other students now you can do it no problem let us say i'm keeping it simple just for understanding purpose okay and click total see the total is there of the student id 475 the total is 225 and if you want to get this percentage you can also get the percentage of marks here so the, your program is working quite well now right let's try to enter another one see it is always uh, better to learn slowly okay you can't uh, learn like a rocket that is not a proper way of learning go step by step take your time and uh, have patience okay get total marks 005 is the student id 65 uh, in each subject total is 195 and the percentage should be 65 so it is working well and also you are getting two decimal places after that okay let us now try with another student with some 
non-equal numbers like in physics it is 65 fine in chemistry the, can, the student gets 85 and in maths 90 okay get the total total is uh, 240 you can check it here 65 plus 85 is how much 150 plus 90 is 240 and that is also shown here and the marks are posted correctly okay physics 65 chemistry 85 and maths 90 you can check it here and the percentage of marks try to obtain it here here that is 80 percent 240 divided by 300 times 100 that should give you 80 percent marks fair enough so we, we have learned a lot of things actually today and uh, that i mean how to how to put many text boxes here and how to put labels here how to use one two three four five as many common buttons as you want to get your job done okay it is better to use less common buttons and of course you should not use too many activex controls on the form that will make it clumsy okay but always remember you are using a, a user form uh, because you want to enter data which is protected okay you, you want to enter data in a worksheet which is protected you don't want to uh, leave it open for any user okay so that is why you are using this worksheet and also you want to get things done that that means you want to get your calculations done from an external source that is your user form right now in order to get the letter grade uh, click on this button and it is it is doing nothing at the moment because we have written no code behind this letter grade common button we'll do that in a moment let's close it and uh, let's go to the worksheet uh, now and in sheet 2 <coughs> this is not protected at the moment i hope yeah this is not protected we don't need to protect it in fact so we have a grading system here that is if uh, per if percentage of marks is uh, at least 80 then the student will be assigned a grade and uh, if it is more or equal to 70 and less than 80 then it will be b and so and so forth a student getting uh, 50, less than 50 percent marks will be uh, considered to have failed so these are the grading systems and this is the grading system you have and these are the letter grades you have so one two three four five so in order to uh, get these letter grades uh, alongside the alongside the students information in in sheet one okay in sheet one so we want to get the letter grades here of course understand that uh, these three students will be assigned a letter grade of a and this student will be 75 so that will be b okay and between 60 and 70 that will be c and that will be again a right <clears throat> so let us see how we can do it uh, we'll write these few lines of course together so um, let us uh, let us copy okay let us go back go to here and this is your common button three subroutine okay uh, you don't need this thing and we are going to copy these few lines of course because some of the some of the lines will be quite common you understand it and that is the flexibility of coding in excel vba you can always copy things the common items and instead of writing or declaring it as j we can declare it as k if you want okay and small k better i always uh, like declaring the variables in uh, lower case and there are many uh, j's here and you want to replace all these j's by k so what you can do is you can select uh, these few lines of course here go to edit and replace okay just like what we do in word find word find j and replace with what replace with k that is your new variable selected text search in the selected text and find whole words only so replace all on seven replacements that is fine so everything is done in a glimpse of an eye <coughs> now uh let us let us see how we can do it i have no idea actually we have unprotected the uh sheet that is fine with a password one two three four and we have declared a variable d which is k right and 
we are going to write uh, letter grade here. So there will be many if blocks now. Um, we cannot use this uh, do while loop, can we? Uh, no, because we have many conditions. So let's see how we can do it. Okay. Uh, I'll delete all these things and let us, for, it has, let us try with the first cell. So if cells, uh, cells what? Cells k, mm, k2, k no, not 2. Uh, k6 that is the percentage right where is your percentage in the column 6 so if k6 k will be the row index and 6 is the column index if k6 value is greater or equal to 80 then then what then cells k7 that is where your letter grade is so k is the row index and 7 is the column index for uh, letter grade just try to remember things yep that is column 7 will be what will be equal to a plus right and then you say end if so if this condition is satisfied that will be a plus and now we'll have to run through it so how can we do it say k is equal to let us do it in the same fashion and uh, and k plus 1 okay k plus 1 6 we could actually use this do while loop that is i'm, I'm getting that feeling right we could probably do it if uh, right okay so we are going to write no okay let us let us copy this thing from here okay again i'm sorry about that and that is how you learn actually uh, when you are programming you're writing codes you don't write it just right away uh, while j uh, k plus 1 let us replace all these j's with k again okay this is the best way of learning so do while uh, k plus 1 6 is not blank that is the percentage column there is a value in the percentage column okay is not blank and now can probably use an if block here if uh, cells k plus 1 6 that is the percentage is greater or equal to 80 then what you'll have to write and uh, then then what then you want to write in column 7 in the cell in column 7 that the letter grade is a plus okay and if okay so once it is done with this it will increment the val initial value of k and go for the next line or the next row okay let us try it and see see if it works okay uh, go back here if you're lucky it will work just in one shot you are going to get a result let's see if it works click here we are looking for letter grade don't bother about all these things total percentage all these things are done letter grade you there you go so it has run through all the cells in column 6 and has put a plus grade is there any a plus grade i thought there is only a grade okay we'll make that correction uh, so more than 80 percent or at least equal to 80 percent it has put letter grade a plus okay so bingo i mean you have become a very good programmer now right there is no a plus grade it should be a grade try it again don't worry uh, go back to the editor open the grade form and run it from here do it convert it to a grade very nice and now let us write what about the other <coughs> other grades okay so this is this is the block for 
A grade and then we have other grades as well. We will just copy this block okay, and change the condition here. If cells K1, what will be the next one? The next condition should be if it is greater or equal to 70 and less than 80, then it is B. So, and there is and. So, if it is greater or equal to 70, and you can you can write it in the same line and and if the cell value in column 6 is less than 80 okay then the grade should be b the grade should be b okay and you must put the texts in the close commas close it Go back, editor, grade form, click and run it. And now try this. Okay, so there is one uh, student who is uh, who has obtained more than seventy percent, uh, more than seventy percent marks and less than eighty percent marks. So the letter grade of this student is B. Fine. So this is working nice and I'll request you to write the code for this student as well. Just go back and double click on this and see where, where you have to uh, make the change. So the do while loop will still be there. You have added one if block for getting A grade, another if block for getting B grade. Similarly, you will have to have how many grades are there for c you will have another if block for d another for f another and that will complete your program or the code okay so i hope you found it useful and uh, you should be uh, learning step by step have patience that is what i always tell and go slowly you don't have to rush you can't you can you can't learn programming while you are rushing okay you don't be jumpy take your time always take at least 30 minutes to watch the video and uh, always use pen and paper alongside okay pick up the values try to learn think about it and also always try to think how you could do it in another way okay thanks very much thanks for watching this